Hello, this is Jose Torres, and today we are going to install PhoneGap in a Mac system. So, let's start. The first thing you need to do is go to PhoneGap.com. This is the official website from PhoneGap, and here you can find documentation, examples, and of course, to uh, find the instructions to install it. So, let's select Install PhoneGap option. Please notice that the first thing we need to do is to install Node.js. If you are not familiar with Node.js, or if you have ever heard to talk about Node.js, don't worry about it. You are not going to need to be an expert or have knowledge about this tool. Uh, PhoneGap use it to, to run some background processes while creating projects and so on. So we just need to install it. And how it is used is not something we need to take care about. So let's go to the Node.js home page. It is Node.js.org and select the, the install option. With this option, we are going to start downloading the, the package to install Node.js. Once it is ready, so just click on it and start the process uh, to install it. So just click Continue, select Continue again, agree with the terms and conditions of the license, uh, uh, check here that the continue button is disabled. That is because you need to select the option install for all users of this computer. And when you do that, the continue button is enabled. So click continue, click install, and provide the password for your current user so you are going to be able to continue. With that, uh, click install software button. And we are ready. Press the close button and close the Node.js homepage. We are not uh, using it anymore. So we are going to continue with the terminal. So let's go to the spotlight and write terminal. The terminal is the one with this black icon, so just click on it to open it. We are going to continue following these instructions. It is pretty simple. Just write sudo. Sudo comes from super user do npm install dash g phone gap and press enter key. Provide the password for the current user and hit enter. Uh, your screen could look a little different from mine just because I already have installed PhoneGap into my computer. So you are going to see some more information on this when your process is completed. Okay, as I told you, this uh, this data or this information I got on here will be a little different from yours, but basically when your installation is completed, so you are going to be able to use PhoneGap. I'm going to create my first uh, PhoneGap project. I'm going to continue following uh, those instructions over here uh, to do that. I'm going to move to my desktop and create the project under. If you are not familiar with Terminal, uh, probably you are going to be in your local directory. Just to confirm that, uh, type ls. ls came from list and hit enter. That is going to give you some context about where you are. So as you can see, I can uh, I have my desktop over here, so that means 
that I need to move into my desktop. So uh, type cd, cd came from change directory, and type the name of the directory where you want to move to. In this case, I'm going to type desktop and hit enter. You can see that I am already into my desktop directory, and now I'm going to uh, execute the instructions to create uh, my PhoneGap project. So uh, just type PhoneGap space create a space and provide your application name. Uh, my application is going to call hello world and hit enter. Terrific! And here you are. You already have your first PhoneGap application. I'm going to move to my desktop. I have a Hello World directory that was created uh, uh, with the create instruction from PhoneGap. If I open it, you are going to see some directories. Don't worry about those directories. We are going to check what are they for in next videos. At this moment, we are interested in the main directory, the www directory. And um, I'm going to open the index HTML. So double click on it, and you are going to get the default PhoneGap uh, template. You can see that we get the connecting to device message, and we used to have a a message saying a device ready when we are running this in a, this a device. In this case, we are not getting it because we are not running in a device, so we, we are missing some libraries and we are having some issues, issues behind the scenes. But uh, we are going to see how to debug PhoneGap applications and run them in uh, a browser in the next video, so please don't miss it. Thank you.